uh, Damon Stith with Austin Warrior Arts and Seth Picote, Guild of the Silent Sword. And um, recently we've been um, exploring the uh, striking patterns with the um, Algerian stick fighting art of Al Makrai, um, using it as a base to kind of build um, build a, a sword curriculum on. So what we've done, and this is uh, Basil uh, Lisa, so one of my students is going to help me demonstrate uh, some techniques. So what we've done, we brought out these um, these uh, long blades here. These are Himakasa um, Gibaro machetes, but they look very, very similar, very reminiscent to um, to uh, Nimshas, uh, the saber blades that are used in Morocco and Algeria uh, by the Barbary Kossars. So um, good little weapon. So we're going to go ahead and put it to kind of use and show you how my flag, um, how it looks with like the live blade. Okay, so we're going to be going kind of slow. And uh, normally I would recommend doing this with some safety protection, just protect, uh, specifically for your eyes and your hands. Um, here we go. So we're gonna start with the four basic cuts that we've done this already in the video. Uh, it'll go, uh, here, open up. One, two, three, four. same four strikes and then we're going to build a random strike into that flow. So he'll open with the four. So one, two, three, four, and I'll open with the four. One, two, three, four. So do the four again. One, two, three, four plus one more. Five. Then I'll do the same thing. I'll open. One, two, three, four, five. Then we'll do six. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Then I'll do six here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, here I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. random strikes into the pattern now. Next thing what we'll do is we'll work on countering off of those um, movements. So my partner will start off with the first cut, which is that horizontal. So for now, go ahead and hold the, the blade there. So for now, if our, if our blades met like this, I would have to uh, do some kind of manipulation off his sword to get my, my counter. To start off with, what I want him to do is go ahead and just cut through for me so I can purely work my counter off of it. And I'm going to counter within the rip, within the universe those four strikes I parry. And then I'm going to go with my horizontal, give him that same cut again. And I parry. This time I'll do that other horizontal. Again, parry. Make sure you cut. Parry. And then parry. Again, parry. And then come. Okay? Then he'll give me. The one he'll go hard, hard on outside, inside. So one, two, and then I'll work off of that one. One, two, work off of that. One, two, work off of that. Then we'll go one, two, three. Okay. So one, two, two three. Again, okay. back a little bit. Showing, but I would do a full, full cut of it. And once again, one, two, three. Okay. Then we want to do four. One, two, three. And I kind of come up with okay. One, two, go three, four.
So, once we do that, um, that allows us to work on like for sparring techniques of how to break into these movements. And later on, we'll use, uh, we'll use other defensive movements to help um, deal with uh, different rhythms of different feels of these attacks. But just wanted to kind of show what we've already showed with the live blade. Thank you guys.